What's up, YouTube? Demon Waffle here, and today we are going to be doing an ultimate armoring guide. This video will be broken down to three different parts. Uh, it'll be the basics, and then it'll be a leveling guide from 1 to 50, and then discussing what we do from level 50 and beyond. This entire video will have timestamps, so feel free to skip around and only watch the parts you want to watch. You don't have to stay for the whole thing. But if you're interested in things like crafting your first armor and learning about different armor types, then check out the basics. If you are interested in leveling from 1 to 50 as efficiently, quickly, and potentially cheap, as possible then stick around from the levels 1 to 50 section and if you're just really curious about why we would even get to level 50 and what you can do past level 50 then stick around for the level 50 and beyond part so let's get started with the basics we're gonna be crafting our first piece of armor so we're gonna start with a coarse leather shirt why are we starting with the coarse leather shirt recipe well simply because it gives the most amount of experience for the overall cheapest cost um, and it does take a lot of materials, but overall the actual material to experience ratio is the highest. And like I said, this is the basic section of the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where to get all these materials and I'm going to show you how to get them all. And then we're going to craft our first leather shirt together. I'm showing you an interactive map that I'll link in the description below, but I'm circling that there is every raw ingredient here that we're going to need. So it's a little bit above the settlement in first light. Uh, so we're going to head there now, and that's where we're going to begin collecting everything we need to get started for the basics. Since we're crafting a leather coat, let's uh, let's start by collecting some leather. So how do we do that? Well, first we need to go find a wolf or a bear or a puma or anything that you can skin. Um, so we're going to walk up to it. We're just going to kill it, and we're going to skin it. And that skinning is going to give us rawhide. The next thing we're going to get is iron, which is relatively easy to find. Um, you can use the interactive map to find some. And since this is probably the hardest material we're going to need to get, um, we're kind of lucky that it's going to be the, the least amount that we're going to need to get. And for our last raw material we're going to go get, we're going to go grab some fibers off of a hemp bush. Um, there's a ton of them in the area that I marked on the map, so there'll be plenty for you guys to grab. Now we're going to take these raw materials and we're going to take them into our closest town or settlement and we're going to be refining them. And if you've already done this before in the past and you know how to craft this stuff, please feel free to skip to the, the power leveling 1 through 50 section of this video. But if you're not and you're here to learn, head to your closest tannery and we're going to be crafting coarse leathers with all of the rawhide that we just collected. Next we're going to head over to our closest smelter and we're going to smelt that iron ore that we collected into iron ingots. And for our last refined component we're going to head over to a loom and we're going to turn the fibers into linen. So now we have all our refined materials so we're going to head over to our closest outfitting station and we're going to go down and select coarse leather shirt and we're going to craft our first coarse leather shirt. So as you can see, there's some other options here. You could add Azoth, which increases your chances for attributes, perks, and gem slots. Or you could simply add a special resource, which adds perks manually instead of getting random ones from Azoth. So now all we're going to do is head down, hit the craft button, and boom, you've created your first rough leather coat, one of 27 that we're going to need to craft to get to level 50. Well, I kind of just spoiled the levels 1 to 50 section, but basically you're going to be crafting the same coarse leather shirt 27 times. Now I know that probably sounds boring, but if you wanted to level up from 1 to 50 as quickly as possible, this is going to be the most effective, most efficient, and also cheapest way of doing that. So you might be asking how I know that, and I've done the math, and basically a coarse leather shirt or a linen leather shirt could potentially get you there in the same amount of time. Now, if we're talking about cost efficiency, then you would want to go with the coarse leather shirt, simply because buying uh, coarse leather or buying rawhide is much cheaper than buying fiber or linen. And you may be asking, why a shirt? Why not a hat or gloves? And it's simple because a shirt only requires one iron ingot, but it gives you over 400 experience for every shirt you're making. Well, that is a lot cheaper than having to go with something like a pair of pants, which requires two iron. Not only that, a pair of pants gives you less experience than a shirt, so mathematically, the cost of an iron ingot in total, it doesn't make sense to make pants versus a shirt. So in order to make 27 
coarse leather shirts. You're going to need 594 coarse leather. You're going to need 324 linen and 27 iron ingots. So at the time of recording this on my server, uh, the cost of every coarse leather is around one coin. The cost of every linen is around 1.5 coins, which is why uh, coarse leather shirts are cheaper to go with. And every iron ingot on my server, it runs around three coins, which total gives you around 1,161 coins, which overall isn't that bad to get from level one to level 50, which leads into part three level 50 and beyond. Why do you even want to get to level 50 and what can you do after? And the obvious answer is you can make better armor, right? So at level 50 you'll be able to craft a newer version of the linen armor, the leather armor, and now you'll be crafting steel armor. Um, but not only that, there's actually cooler armor at like level 60 that you can craft with higher tier uh, materials but also items that you can find in chests and supply crates all around the game. I mean, who wouldn't want these sweet looking obelisk outrider shoes? I hope this video was informative to not only beginner players, but maybe people who are just trying to power level from one to 50, or they're just wondering why people would get to 50 and armoring in the first place. That's all I have for you guys. If you like this video, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.